our playthrough of Abzu. I couldn't get Dark Souls to work with the controller, and it's been a while, and <laughs> I really wish I knew what was wrong with the controller issue, because I'd like it to continue with that playthrough, but, you know, I wanted a bit of a break from the Dark Soul and Dungeons, and Crypts, and Monsters, and Sword, sword play that I've been doing the past, like, couple weeks. You know, and, and give something lighter. And uh, I settled on Abzu. From what I hear is a short, little, uplifting, very beautiful experience. And so, to take a break from all of that darkness that I've been stuck in, I thought I'd play this. And I can get it working properly, so why not? Hopefully you can, you will enjoy me going on this nice journey. Get it? Journey? Because I think this is made by the same people that made the journey, uh, made journey. I may also have to alter settings, but, you know. Let us descend into the sea. Ooh. Going deep in the darkness is not something I, I wanted to do. As beautiful as it is. These are very magical. This is unknown to us as faces. We barely know much about the sea and underwater. So pretty. Guess that's me. Hello. That's so pretty. Yeah, well, however, oh, I can't do the the. Ah, oh, this should this should record just fine. It's so pretty. I, you know, I think I also need to play a game like this that lets me explore the beauty of the underwater. Because I have something of a fear of deep water. Ooh. Ooh, no, no. These controls are going to take a bit for me to get used to. It's so pretty. But for the longest amount of time, I've always been very tentative about the underwater. Especially where you can't see the bottom of the water. Facilitated by a lot of different things growing up. A couple movies that dealt with, you know, the darkness of the sea, but it's also the wellspring of life. Filled with beauty. And look, it's so pretty. Honestly. It's a serene adventure. Oh, actually, I could, I, I can indeed track back a lot of where my fear for the the deep and dark comes from, and it's of all things, Echo the Dolphin. Now that game, for those that do know, understand exactly what was so dark and macabre about that series, and I'm sure a lot of parents had absolutely no idea what they were giving their kids when they. When they bought that game and picked it up, you know, you expect a cute little dolphin game. No, that game is absolute opposite of a cute dolphin game. Uh, this this actually makes me want and wish there was, like, a resurgence in that game, because part of the fun of Echo the Dolphin was, you know, just swimming calmly like this in the sea with water, and then, you know, bursting forwards with speed and then eating fish, but, you know, that's not the main thing. Can I? I'm not a dolphin, so I, I don't... Oh, you can still do little dives. Oh, that's so cool. Breach. Nice, nice. Oh, it's so lovely looking, though. The... What's that? I assume that just froze my game. Okay, my bad. Uh, but it's so pretty. 
a big old fish over there. Sea bass? I can ride the fish? Oh, heck yeah. Let's go, fish buddy. Goliath grouper. Grouper? Grouper. Come on, but oh, don't, don't slam me into the wall. Oh, that's so cool, though. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is. Oh goodness gracious me. I love the, the art style. It's so pretty, man. This is beautiful. A little bit framey, but you know. Any deal. I think I'm supposed to go this way? There's some subtle cues. I could be completely wrong. Trumpet fish. Oh my goodness. Am I? Can I breach the surface? No, I can't. Makes sense, though. Oh, I can breach the surface over there, though. I'm mostly just curious. What is above the surface over here? I have no idea where I am. Or once it's the, uh, the above world that is very bland and there's nothing really there. Like that we go for the more interesting life-filled world. What is this? Also, it's music, amazing. Hey, little buddy, what's up? How are you doing? Ah, uh, that's very cute. I'm gonna funny follow you, little buddy. They said, "Why you, why are you eyeing me? Why, why are you give? Oh, okay, he's my buddy. He's gonna tag along with me." I was like, "Why is he giving me that stink eye?" I was like, "I did nothing wrong." Oh, I've got to get used to this camera though. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. And like, underwater is a very, very... There's, there's only been a few things lately that's really decided to explore this. Leopard shark. Did I want to spawn those? I guess so. Bring a little more life into the reef. The only other thing that I can think of that... You know, there's a couple of things of that uses the sea, at least in this respect of exploration. Ooh, it's another little buddy. What's up, man? Let's let's get you all fixed up. And that's uh, Subnautica, which I hear is really good, to be honest. May pick that up at some point. And um, also... Raft, I think it's what it's called, but it's not really to do with exploring the bottom of the sea, the sea life, but more to do with... It, it gives me some, some sass. Oh, that's so cool! Sorry, I'm just like, very, very into this. I assume that means I use one of my buddies to help me open this? Yeah! I don't, I don't really want to go into the darkness for now. Maybe look around this place a little bit more. I heard some. Maybe that is it. Is here though. I think I already that that was the, the shark. I think. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hey, trumpet fish, what's up? 
it's just such a beautiful worldscape to explore. It's effectively space on a planet. Just look how little we really know about the waters that we live on on Earth. Forget creating fictional worlds. Huh. Yeah. Hob skill sea turtles. Oh man. I have no idea. If, I, I'm going to assume these are real life sea creatures that live on Earth. What is that? Okay, from the distance it looked it looked like a giant head. Just encased in the water. But it's not. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's like Think how much is below the surface and what little we know about it. Like you can have so much creative freedom with underwater everything. I'm sure there are, I mean, there are things that have taken advantage of it. Ooh, a big old shell. Did I collect it? I assume that means it goes into my collection. Nice. But yeah, like, no need to look into space. Look what we've got here on Earth. Below our surfaces that we don't know much about. And it's such a... It's such a beautiful world, and I can't say landscape, but waterscape. Okay, into the darkness we go. That's only a little cave venture. Ooh, Ooh that's a big old great white. Hmm, I should probably avoid that. Ooh, this is what I, I this is what I mean. Those are more more eels, right? Oh, the atmosphere changed so dramatically. Oh, the shadows. Like you can make an amazing horror game from the deep. I'm sure that's what parts of Subnautica feel like when you explore the darkest depths with the giant alien creatures. Look, it, the tone changes so drastically when areas of light to the darkness and just deepen the the color palette of the area it's a lot more solemn and somber and then you know the fact that there's like 80 eels that aren't exactly the most pleasant of fish to look at and have multiple connotations with evil you know stemming from like the little mermaid That was a nice transit. Okay, thought something was coming out of the sand. A nice little transitionary area. Moving back to lights. Oh, it's so well designed. Beautiful, beautiful experience. Ooh. What in the world? Doesn't look too good. Ooh. Even just doing this, going into the darkness, gives me the heebie jeebies. But. A whirlpool. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Oh, this is at the bottom of the ocean. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Ooh, shivers. Goodness gracious. I'll just let the, the atmosphere do the talking, to be honest. See, is this the skyline? Or is it just part of the sea? Both are equally as valid.
we brought light to the darkness below. A little bit of hope. Yeah, I know this game typically isn't really something that would be built for commentary, but I'm enjoying just expressing my thoughts for those that want to watch. Now, let me speak a little bit of my inner monologue instead of just keeping it to myself. Look how beautiful this is, honestly. And I know this definitely isn't a game for everyone, especially... Especially compared to all the games that have been on my channel. Can I ride you? Yeah! Let's go, buddy! Antare, sweet. Especially to the other games on the channel. Uh, maybe aside from uh, Magic One. Because that was a very bizarre experience. This one is definitely a lot more about the emotions and feelings brought upon by playing it. What is that? You know, it's a... Is that a shark? That's a shark... with arms and legs. Back button to meditate. The, the save button? Left click, left stick to switch? Oh! I can swap between the different life. Oh, that's really cool. I assume these are all actual fish that live in live on Earth. Rooster fish. But <sighs> it's a very relaxing, very beautiful experience, and I'm only at the very start. Like, all you're really doing is swimming about. <laughs> that that's that's very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reductive. To say that all you're really doing is swimming around a an ocean and exploring, but there's a really great combination that comes not only from the act of exploration. And the artistry, but the music, all of it ties together so beautifully that it just, it evokes such emotions. Oddly enough, the thing this reminds me most of, uh, and I suppose that's, that's not too surprising, is um, a lot of those quiet meditative moments in films which have to do with space. I go down. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, okay. You know, those meditative moments, those... That a lot of things don't really have. You know, just... Things need moments. Moments of brevity. And... Oh, this is the perfect palate cleanser from the stuff I haven't. Especially after the frustration of the, the liches and the last episode of Arcs that I did. Or last couple episodes of Arcs that I did. Sometimes you just need a little beauty and quiet, a meditative journey through a beautiful world. Ooh, hello. Are we the descendants of those that used to do this? Just the modern version of these people? Maybe. I mean, we're here for a reason. Hello, jellyfish. And these runes are here for a reason. Giant whale, bringing a wife, sun. As we gave up a, a part of ourselves, or took something from ourselves in order to bring that life to this area, I'm not sure what that means for, for us going forwards. Hey. Oh, actually. I realize I can. Yeah. There we go. I can do, I can do pitch inverted, but the camera 
confuses me when it's inverted. A little bit. Ooh! No, my little buddy! Sorry, little buddy. I lost your other little buddy. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. These little islands of refuge do a big... They do a lot to help me feel more secure about what's going on. Because otherwise, ugh. I don't even want to go the way I'm going. Because I feel unsafe. That is a giant tesseract. No, not tesseract. That thing is blinking at me. Do you have sentience? Hello? Nice. Let's go? Question mark? Hey, my little buddy left me. What? So beautiful. You know, I think, I think that's a good point to stop the episode. Got a little bit of an introduction to the beautiful world that we're let, let you guys know my thoughts so far. And I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing this journey. And I hope you at least find a little bit of entertainment or enjoyment in my exploration of the inner monologue I have when playing this beautiful game. So, like, comment, subscribe if you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.